When I get back to Calgary, I can't wait to go to Crawler Ted's garage. Hey guys, Crawler Ted here in the garage. I've uh, got a uh, box here. I thought I would uh, bust out the camera and uh, open it up with uh, you guys watching. Why not, eh? So here we go. I'll show you what it is. <laughs> there we go. All right. So it is. It's a Kyosho Blizzard SR. Uh, I know you've you've seen these hundreds hundreds of times already. I'm sure. Uh, you know, even myself. I you know probably three different times over the years I've had one of these under my arm, heading for the door at that PM hobby, and yet I do not have one up until this point right now. Um, I don't know why. It's just one of those things, you know. <laughs> so I decided, finally decided, okay, let's let's give one of these a try. So, uh, as you know, it's it's a snow cat, right? It's uh, with a with a plow on it. Um, there's lots of mods and stuff like that available now. Lots of good things that guys are doing with them. They've been around for a long time, right? So, uh, RTR, completely RTR, I'm sure. Two point four RC system. Uh, these were available in a nitro uh, for a while there. I don't know if you can still get the nitro ones or not, but uh, I'm not a nitro guy, so of course I went with the electric. So. Uh. Okay, so looks like they got her packed in there pretty good, eh? Some of this tape. Piece of foam. Start with the, what is obviously the radio, eh? See if I can do this without dropping anything. So there's the Kyosho. It's the 2.4, so I believe it's a 4 channel, eh? Yeah, 4 channel. So. Basic, yeah. So, let me just get this out of the box. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's pretty trick for sure, eh? Tracks are wider than I thought, too. Wider than I remember. Oh, okay. Uh, let's pull the top off of it and let's have a look in there, eh? Oh, that's pretty simple. Okay. Got screwed down. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Some decals and such to personalize it. I don't think there's anything else in there. Just the manual. No tools, no... No, nothing. Oh, wait, what's in this one? One more box here. Oh, of course, the plow! Um, so there's the plow set up. Which hatches up front there. So that's what the instructions are for. Up here. Stuff to fill it, okay. So there it is. There's not much to it, that's for sure. They're pretty darn basic. Um, Yeah, I, uh, like I say, I know there's lots, lots of different mods. Uh, some as far as the uh, ESCs and such go. Um, so I, I have been looking a little bit, but now I'll definitely look a little harder now that I finally uh, have one. Um, same with the motors. I think I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. I'll have to do some more reading and see what uh, what I'm gonna upgrade first. You know. At this point, I may even just use it a few times this year and uh, mod it over the summer. Who knows? First thing we're going to do is cut that off, eh? Throw a Deans on there. <laughs> so I can plug in a battery into it. Give her a go. Alright. So there you go. Pretty darn basic, eh? There's not much to it. Yeah, can't wait to get that out in the snow and try it out. Okay, so here we go. Here's my uh, blizzard. I've just quickly rigged my GoPro flat plate on there. 
to use it on a couple of different things. <clears throat> so here it is, yeah, completely stock, two cell lipo. Um, it's uh, a little funky, I think there's issues with uh, the driving on them and that's why people go to that other ESC. You know, they're not very uh, consistent with how them, it responds when you try and get it going both both tracks at the same time and stuff like that. Kind of a finicky thing to drive, so I think there's a better uh, some better electronics for it to upgrade. And that's what always that's why I always hesitated before and not bought one. But now this time I decided to go for it. So what the heck? So I'm going to take it down and uh, try it out right now. Okay, well, unfortunately, this is another bad case of uh, where's your cameraman when you need him, you know what I mean? So, this will end up being mostly GoPro footage, I'm assuming, because I just, this thing's hard enough to drive as it is without like, trying to uh, film. Trying, though. That's full bore right there. Downhill, okay, with a two cell light bulb. So, let's try and bring it uphill now. Okay, there it is. Sorry for shaking around. Like I said, this is whacked. Check it out. That's pretty good, eh? I got a little stuck there. Boogieing down there in reverse. Okay, well it's really hard to hold the camera and try and drive, I gotta tell you. Uh, I think I'm gonna put this camera away and just go with the GoPro.
No, I was just putting the video together for the uh, the unboxing and trial run of this thing, and I realized that uh, I hadn't put the plow on through the whole thing. I, I had it out for test run and everything there yesterday, uh, did that video, and I did not run the plow. You know, I'm not sure why. I took the plow with me when I went for that run, and a screwdriver, and everything I intended to put it on, and I simply didn't. So, I thought, well, let's just take one more quick shot with the plow on, just... I mean, that's definitely part of the cool factor on this thing is the plow, so. And I thought also, while I was at it here, I'm just going to pop open the uh, cover, the inside cover, that covers up the uh, motors and all that. Thought I'd just give you a peek in here at the, the drive and stuff in it, see? So you can see the dual motors and dual gear setups there. And everything else looks to be tucked in here, you know, the ESC and such. Uh, here's the servo that operates the plow. So that's just simple up and down. The way the plow attaches is very simple as well. You can see it just uh, clips onto that shaft there. Those literally just clip on there. See, now oh, they're open on the other side. Uh, two more supports which clip to the front of the chassis. And then you can see the steering, or sorry, the uh, up and down lever goes through and mounts to this linkage, which connects to the servo. So, like I said, man, there's not much to these, that's for sure. A little shot underneath. Just a bathtub chassis, that's it, right? Nothing major. So, so that's it, yeah. Anyway, there you go. I just, like I said, I just wanted to uh, give you a little shot of the inside. Uh, Simply because I forgot to before, and uh, the plow too. I really think it looks pretty trick with the plow, right? So the battery just simply slides in here, like so. A little bit of a Velcro strap on there to hold it in place. Yeah, that 5,000 fits in there comfortably. Uh, yeah, changed the end already. Naturally, went to a Dean's end, of course, right? So... Yeah, I can't wait to get it out try it again. I'll try a little plowing uh, this time since I uh, didn't have the plow on last time. So.